going to create a guessing game, a game rules, press the button for the larger number and you will earn a point. If you get it wrong, you will lose a point. Earn five points to win the game. So uh, it should work like the following, so that when you start the game, the, when you press larger, larger number, you get one point. Uh, you will press smaller number, you will lose the point. Again, larger number, again, larger number. And when you get the five points, you will get the message you win. So let's get started. Let's get started design for the XML file for the activity main XML. So we uh, have a title guest name and we want the title right now for the activity as well. So we bring here existing hello world, change here to guessing game. So you might need to change some properties. Another text will be for the game rules. So we double click on this text view and update the text for this field. And we can make it a little bit slightly bigger. Um, another text we require for the points. So the initial number of points is zero. The next stage is to uh, bring two buttons, so one button on the left side and one button on the right side. And uh, the first button should have uh, initial text 0 and the second button also has initial text 0. So basically we finished setting layout for the guessing game. So let's check ID for the widgets button on the left will have a button L update usage as well and button on the right will have a button R the update usage on the right right and points we actually need this text you for the points we can write points text you result so I have device attached to the Android Studio and I have a layout displayed on the Android emulator. So let's get started with button listener. So we click on the left button and the sign method on click left press enter. After this we click on the right button and the sign method on click right method on click left is missing in main activity so we have to click on the method on click left uh, pretty much wait for the light bulb on the left and create on click left view in main activity so that's method will be created and the same we have to do the, for the button on the right side so click on the method on click right the things we need to do first to assign random number for the buttons so we um, have to work on on create site and then we need two numbers random one will be rand dot next int so we need number from 0 to 10 second number will be similar then we have to find view by ID the both buttons and assign um, titles to the button on the left. So the same for button B2. So we're going to assign text, set text to the button on the left. So it should be text R1. Uh, but it's not going to work because R1 is integer. So we have to convert R1 to the string, right? Because set text works with the string. So what we will do here, we will um, basically use conversion integer dot string and uh, the variable with random number one will be a 
assign to the button one and do the same for the right button and number two okay so let's uh, run quick our application and see that if we have run the number or not all right we are just quite lucky we have two numbers seven um hopefully it's a different numbers next time so yeah i just uh, want to exit application and uh, run it again this time we have two and one so the next we want to process uh, logic for the left click so basically we simply check if number r1 will be greater than number r2 in this case will be uh, count plus one otherwise will be a uh, count minus minus so we will need uh, to solve the problem with uh, with this uh, variable right now right so it looks like we have to create a private int count variable and uh, also it's a good idea to uh, make uh, a global variable for the random number as well like private int r1 and r2 so you'll be able to access them in in the code below so i will read this type here so uh, yeah that's what we uh, basically have to do the logic and the opposite logic will be done in in the right click but you have a change change the sign so when we change the sign if r1 is less in this case right it just will be opposite count count and otherwise count minus minus so what else we need to do? We need to uh, display the the variable uh, on the text result, and uh, we remember the text result has a name text result. So we have to and set the text view. So what was actually the text we had here? Point zero, right? So we'll write similar things here. Points colon plus count so I copy this two lines copy and paste these two lines below on the right click let's quickly run the project so we have random number 95 so we will press 9 we get one point if you press 5 bad we get zero but what is what is bad right now so this looks like a program works but we do not have random numbers every time, right? So that randomization that happened here, that's happened only one time in on create. So the best way to do it, to create a random method. So let's copy this lines with randomization and write here private give give new random and it will be a void method with this randomization of two numbers inside and then we have to call this give me number new random number in the create on create we have to we have to call this method here and then we have to call this method again on the right on the click on the right so let's run it again three nine click on nine nine five click on this number so this time we see that we have all numbers pretty much different and uh, and it works okay let's go to negative territory right now yeah that's not the best uh, actually what this is what we had right now two numbers equal so this is what uh, we need to fix it at the very end so we'll do a little fix here we need to uh, use loop let's make uh, kind of like endless loop for generating of second number uh, but we will break the loop if um, r1 is not equal to r2 break so let's make a quick run Five nine six four 
So three answers correct. So let's do three answer incorrect. And we will never see we never see the same numbers again. So it looks good right now. So the last fix we have to check if the count is greater than uh, five points, right? So we have to stop the game, I guess, right? This is what was uh, condition for the game. So earn five points to win the game. So we have to uh, probably go to the method give the new uh, random, and um, inside this method we can check if count is equal to five. So what we can do? So we can make count zero and make a toast message to identify user that the result of the game is positive. So kind of like we can make a message like you won. Length short and after braces to show the message. Otherwise, we will uh, we will resume the normal execution. So I would put the rest in curly braces. All right. So let's let's run program the last time. Just hopefully it will work properly. All right. So let's go six six five. Let's make mistake. Zero. Oh, minus one. Four. Nine. Eight. And you won. So the next time when you press, you will start from, from zero. Alright, so that was the answer to the guessing game. Thanks a lot.